dress like a fool. You're dressed like a father trying to get his daughter into a decent school. I don't have a daughter. And I don't have a pony. Pay attention. We are here to observe a boy. The first of many evaluations in the weeks to come. I'm supposed to be protecting shipping lanes, not babysitting. This child could be more useful to the UNSC than a fleet of destroyers, a thousand lieutenants, or even me. In the end, one child could be the difference between peace and an unwinnable war. Ah, there's our young man. Journal entry. Same encryption scheme. Who's next? John was the first. And he was the best. Come on! He can't stop us all! Even as a child, I could see how special he was. Sense his unformed potential. I simply needed to carve away everything else to get to it. To shape it. Form him into everything I knew he would eventually become. Him? He can't be more than- Six. John, like all of our candidates, is six years old. And like the others, he has all the genetic markers. There's something else that makes him of interest. Of interest to whom, precisely? Here. Record our interaction. I'll talk to him. Find out if his character is as exceptional as his DNA. Hello. What's your name? It's John. And what game were you playing, John? War. King of the Hill. Mom says I'm too rough with the other kids. You like games. So do I. I have another game, if you're interested. This is a coin. Win the game, and you keep the coin. You see the two sides? Yes. A man and a bird. Which side will land up? Bird. Very good. Again. Man. Again. Man. Bird. Bird. Five out of five, John. That's... unusual. You said I could keep it if I won. Yes. You can keep it, John. Yes. I cursed myself for using his name. I couldn't afford the luxury of fondness. No telling if Subject 117 would even survive what lay ahead. Tell me you recorded that.